Okay, so I am sitting here going through the footage from my car vlog and I realized that I either deleted the intro to this video where I explained everything that was going on or I just didn't film one, but I'm pretty sure I did film one so I must have deleted it. Anyway, this is footage from when I went to go look for a new car. Um, I know, big girl purchase, adulting. But yeah, this is the footage from when I went to go purchase my car. This happened over like a two and a half ish week span so that's why it's kind of spread out and choppy um but i hope you guys enjoy this video i really enjoyed filming it i felt like it was super fun it was first thing that i feel like i vlogged that was like a major major big purchase for me so like <laughs> cool without further ado and me continually rambling let's get into my car buying all right we're here there's tons of cars let me just show you guys all these cars Look at all of them. Literally, I'm looking for one specific thing. So, yeah. But we got really lost coming here. We like didn't know it was this close off the highway. So we were driving, 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 and we passed it. So we had to go like up this big like detour because it's on like directly the highway. And I think this lighting's really bad, so I apologize, but yeah. Like, it just goes on forever. All these cars. It's kind of like CarMax. How do you feel? shopping i know i don't know so far just because carmax all their cars are like open like you can get in them these aren't open here so that's kind of annoying but that's why carmax gets one point right now over echo park also the sun is coming out and it's getting really really hot so i'm glad i wore athleisure clothes because i had like cute clothes on but it was just too freaking hot for that so i went with athleisure today okay but for those of you that don't know I'm trying to get a Mazda CX-5. I have wanted that for a while because I don't like sedans. So I just think that they're too small and not safe. Yeah, same. He does not think that, but I just don't like a sedan. And I think I'm just used to driving a crossover, so that's what I want. But I'm big on these Infinities right now. All right, Paul likes the Infinity. I don't like that. I think it looks too, like it's like they took the car and they went like this. Need a little bigger. Like they crushed it. I don't know. All right, I'm vlogging on my phone. I'm driving the Mazda right now. And this is what I thought I wanted, you guys. But after driving the Tiguan, I just drove the Tiguan and I liked it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I think it's kind of cute. I just feel, but I just feel higher and like more in charge in this one. Like I feel like a bad girl in this one. Like, like, I'm freaking zipping. But I think I'm kind of leaning towards the T1 right now. Like driving wise. This one's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't really like this one. And the steering wheel. Ugh, this is freaking nasty. This steering wheel is so dirty, you guys. All right, I gotta back in now, so I gotta go. All right, so we just left Echo Park. If you're in Charlotte, you have to go there if you're looking for a car. It was really nice. And our guy, Brandon, super nice, from New York, so we obviously had to support him. Drove a Passat, which I actually vlogged on my phone when I was driving the... Not the Passat. Why do I want to call it Passat? I don't know. I drove the Tiguan, which I didn't go there looking for. I went there looking for the Mazda. Yeah, I don't know. You called it all the wrong thing. <laughs> the Mazda... Volkswagen Tiguan. ...did not impress me, which is very odd because I love that car so much and I've liked it for so long. And I feel kind of like sad, like I feel let down by the Mazda. But the Tiguan was so nice. It had a huge sunroof, really cute, zippy. How else would you describe it? Just like cute. It was like really huge cute. Windows. Huge windows, felt safe in it, even though it was really small. Like when I got into the Mazda, I felt like I was driving a SUV, not a crossover. Like that's how it felt. I felt high and then in the Tiguan, I felt high as well, but I felt like kind of cute and like compact. So yeah, Paul drove both of them too. And he liked the Tiguan as well. So we'll see, we're gonna go home do research. And if anything, I'll go back sometime this week, maybe. Yeah, we'll, go look. we'll see. We're gonna go to CarMax after this, but we just went to McDonald's. Woo! And we're not gonna mukbang it, but we just wanted to show you guys that this is real life right now. 
feel like we should treat ourselves. We're treating because I'm so hungry. And it's a Saturday. And it's a Saturday. Calories don't count. Yeah. Mmm. Everything's so good and fresh. I feel like bum sitting in the car. I know. I really like the passat. Like I was like smiling. Tiguan. The Tiguan. Tiguan. I, th I was. I feel like I was smiling the whole time I was in the Tiguan. Yeah, it's nice. And it's I took nice. off and I was driving to Weser wondering. We got a six-piece nugget. Like honestly. Wow. Um, Paul got a McChicken and Mac sauce. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And then I got a, I never tried it before, but we also got a McDouble and I also got a small fry. So, we'll see how this is. I'm kind of nervous because I never had a McDouble, but I love McDonald's burgers, so I probably won't like it, you know? All right, we're in the car and I figured, you know what, I'm probably, actually I don't want to jinx it, but I want to say I'm 80% sure that I'm going to not leave with the car today, but probably like sign for a car. Is that how you do it? I don't know what you're going to do. I, I, don't, know, don't, know. I don't know what we're going to do. Welcome. But I'll just bring you guys around, and then if this ends up being too long of a footage, I'll just cut this part out. But fun fact, I always go all the way back and look at my door to make sure Shmoo isn't sitting outside the door. Even though I know he's probably sitting on the couch eating the chicken breast that I love for him. We're leaving Echo Park, Charlotte. If you ever want to get a car, you live in Charlotte or you live in Houston, I think is where the other one is, or somewhere. They're I don't know. Over. What? They're all over. I know, they are really all over. I recommend Echo Park because it was so great and our guy was so nice and I might be a little biased because he's from New York, but I can't tell. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we had to do like a little intermission because I was driving and it was very hectic. But we're back. I Sign for a car. Technically, I bought this car, but like nothing because I didn't have anything, like any paperwork or anything. <laughs> I didn't actually get it today because I didn't have a title or anything like that. So, yeah. But very excited. I got ended up getting a Volkswagen Tiguan, which, if I think back to high school me, I wanted a Tiguan back then, but I was nervous about all the recalls. But this one's a 2016, so I'm hoping that it just treats me well, like as well as Maria's treated me, you know? And we got more from Maria than we thought. She is worth it. She's expensive. Where am I going? Straight. Oh. Uh, but now we're going home. Don't take this off. Okay. And yes. stay in the left three lanes. Now we're going home. We're gonna stop and get Chipotle super quick. And then we're thinking we might go to the White Water Center tonight because we live near that. And they're doing like a little concert series, something like that. Um, but yeah, I just need to get a hold of my schmoo. Okay? Paul, huh? you got anything to say? Tell them how excited you are for me. I'm super excited. <laughs> I don't know where to look. I was looking at the screen. I gotta get better at this. Right? I always look at the screen. Um, but yeah, no, I am excited for her. I just hope uh, she takes care of it. I will! I took great care of Maria. We'll where see. is this car right now if you guys don't know? 2010 Nissan Rogue. She's alright. But this new one, we gotta find a name for it now. Yeah, I don't know what she is. She looks classy. I can like really talk to you guys now, but I'm gonna give you guys a little synopsis of the day. So I went there and there was a little bit of an issue because I didn't have the title um, to the Rogue here, which I thought I did. And I also, this car isn't in my name, it's in my dad's name. So I was having like an issue about that. So they had to like figure something out in order for me to even like hold the car, which I ended up holding and they put a sold sign on it. So technically it is mine but they just didn't get my down payment today or anything, which is also okay because I'm gonna give that to them on Tuesday. So I have an appointment to go there Tuesday for 7 p.m. So I'm really hoping that my mom can overnight the package to me or the title to me like Monday. So it comes overnight on Tuesday. Like I'm really hoping that nothing goes wrong, but I have the worst luck in the world. So we'll see. Bye. I'm at the car dealership. <laughs> I forgot my vlog camera. <laughs> But I'm actually really stressed about swiping my card right now. Like I'm nervous Chase is gonna deny it or like not let me like do the payment. I'm just very stressed right now. I want this to be over with. Why do you want to take off the registration sticker? My mom told me I had to. Look at me and this guy. Look at me and these guys, my friends. <laughs> you wanna get into the chat with my friends? No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so much 
better when it's on like this screen as opposed to like the front screen. Like, yeah, your front screen's crap. I know. I don't know why. You should use mine. That's what I know. Doing. Yours looks way better. This guy thinks I'm taking a selfie. <laughs> Standing in front of my car. She's so cute. So it is a bunch of days later and I started editing this car vlog and I was like, oh my god, I, I never ended out the vlog. So pretty much what you guys saw was me sitting at the dealership, um, which wasn't really a dealership. I went to this place called Echo Park, which I think I was saying earlier, they're in Charlotte and like Houston and just like certain cities. Um, but they're very much like a CarMax, except I think that they're much cheaper than CarMax. So that's why I ended up going to Echo Park. And overall, my experience with Echo Park, I would give it a 10 out of 10. It was amazing. The guy that helped us um, was so nice and he was from New York. So, you know, we were like kind of vibing, like we meshed very well. Um, and he was just so cool and just a great person to have throughout the process because buying a car really stressed me out um, i was really stressed that day so that's why i didn't get that many clips um but it's very stressful like it's expensive and it's stressful and yeah i was stressed so pretty much i ended up getting a volkswagen tiguan 2016 i love it it's white it's so cute and perfect for me it is exactly what I need it's interior leather and just everything about it is so cute you guys I've already named her Stassi because I feel like she is extremely sassy just like me and Stassi is just like the perfect name for her you know what I mean like my rogue's name was Maria this girl's name is Stassi and I just feel like it fits perfectly I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my car buying process and coming along with me I hope it gave you a little bit of insight and what it's like buying a car and going through aisles and aisles and aisles of cars and trying to find the right car for you um, but I ended up really loving my car I wanted something that was cute zippy just really overall had a really aesthetically pleasing look to it and I feel like the T1 is just so cute like it's literally so cute and the interior is great and everything about it is just awesome so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, if you are new because I would love to have you stick around and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.